Yeah, just, just hope you're not parked on that side. <laughs> You'll need a Uber to get home. So, we're here today to honor a number of people. Primarily, 16 years ago, well, actually 17 years ago, Wings Over Wendy's was a group of a dozen people having breakfast, or no, they're having uh, afternoon, they're having lunch at the Wendy's restaurant. And um, uh, they were talking aviation, and uh, as it came up into to August, uh, Wings Over Camarillo was uh, in operation, and they were all members uh, going out to Wings Over Camarillo, and somebody said, you know, that would be a catchy name for our organization. Let's call ourselves Wings Over Wendy's. So they, they coined that term, and somewhere along the line, uh, Crash Blackman knew Dennis McCarthy, and Dennis got invited to have, have lunch with him one afternoon and thought, you know, this is a crazy bunch. I'm going to write it up in my column. Dennis is always looking for interesting subjects. So he published it. That was in August, 16 years ago. The next week, Monday noon, 40 people showed up. And then it grew to 50. And then it grew to 60. And then Ron Ross said, hey guys, you're really ruining my after, after school crowd because you're sitting here all afternoon and you're only buying one or two hamburgers. And uh, so I'll tell you what, I'll give you the keys to the place because I don't serve breakfast and you can take the place over in the morning. So we switched to having the morning breakfast. Uh, and we only missed once in the last 17 years a meeting and that was because Christmas this year happened to fall on a Monday and Wendy's wasn't open that day. But that's the only time we have missed. So uh, we're heavily indebted to one Dennis McCarthy. And Dennis, if you'd come up here. So Dennis, in appreciation for this, I want to give you this plaque that uh, you can put on the wall all right. with all the others that you've had. All right. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much you for everything you've done. Up. You. Oh, the plaque. You want a picture? Let me get this back. Listen, I, uh, <clears throat> I owe a debt to you guys. You know, I get paid for this stuff, writing every time. This is a crazy job I have because you meet so many interesting people and you know them for a day. And then you move on because you have another column to write tomorrow. And you hate to move on sometimes because you're not getting to hang out with them a little bit longer and really get the bottom of the story. And uh, with you guys, I got to hang on because Art Sherman would call me every Monday. <laughs> and he said, get your butt down here and write about us. He's doing well over there, isn't he? What a great guy. <laughs> this organization owes a lot to that man. Absolutely. And to Crash. You all know Crash's story, so I'm not going to repeat it. But they never let him get up and get the food at Wendy's. Because sometimes he'd bring it back and he'd fall, he'd trip, whatever it was. He was dropping stuff all the time. Anyway, like I said, it's, it's been an honor for 16 years to have you guys. You know, one day, there's no kids in this room, is there? I got a little bit of a story to tell. You know, newspaper guys, we're full of it. <laughs> so I get a call one day and it's from Nick Nolte, the actor. And he's doing a movie called I Love Trouble. And it's in the 90s. And um, he's playing a newspaper columnist. 
daily newspaper columnist. So he says he wants to pick my brain for a couple hours. So we meet, and he asks me, he says, what's it like writing a daily newspaper column? And I said, it's like being married to a nymphomaniac. You gotta get it up every day. <laughs> and he starts laughing. And I just wanna thank you so much for giving me up for the last 16 years with you guys. Thank you so much. You know, here's the interesting thing about tennis. You know, you pick up the newspaper and you read above the fold and it's a local, state, and national and international crime report. Pretty depressing. Then you go through the pages and you see that great face and a little postage stamp sized picture. And you read, you read about the nice people in the world that are out there. And that's Dennis's job to go out and find them. And it's always a pleasure, I know, for me, as I'm sure it is for many of you, to find that spot where Dennis writes at, whether it's on page 11 or page 17, whatever page it's on. It's always a lot of fun. So we thank you, Dennis. And I think the congressman has a presentation he would like to make to you. Congressman? Congressman Brad Sherman. Hello, I'm Brad Sherman from America's best named city, Sherman Oaks. And it's been an honor to represent most of the San Fernando Valley in the United States Congress for more years than I'm willing to mention. With me here is John Alford from our Constituent Service Office. And I want to put in a pitch for John's work. Imagine a federal agency makes a mistake. It could happen. It could affect you, could even be the VA, or Medicare, or Social Security, or the IRS. You call John, he works very hard, he solves your problem. And then I, Brad Sherman, take the credit. It's an outstanding system. We're here today to honor a man who, you know, you open that, that newspaper, you say, today, here's my daily newspaper. It's going to tell me what's happening in Washington. It's going to be filled with hope and faith and fill me with pride. And there's one column in the paper that actually does that. Thank you, Dennis, for showing us the inspirational part of our San Fernando Valley. And uh, I hope you keep getting that, that column up every, uh, at least once a week. I try. I try. <laughs> now, just one of your columns galvanized this group into an active organization serving our veterans here in the valley, bringing people together. And how many columns have you written? About 5,500. 5,500 columns. And just one of them <laughs> is why we're here today. So Dennis. One of the neat things I get to do as a member of Congress is to get one of the flags that's flown over the Capitol and to give it to someone who is of outstanding service to us here in the San Fernando Valley. Thank you. I was hoping for a poem. <laughs> you have more use for one than I do. Um, you know, reporters are a skeptical lot. And Dennis just might be wondering how he can be sure that that flag actually flew over the Capitol. Hold the flag. He's seen me at Target. They do sell flags there. Well, Dennis, if you can't trust your local congressman, okay. <laughs> then perhaps it's wise that I also brought you a certificate of authenticity to remove any doubt and to assure you this flag did indeed fly over the nation's capital. Thank you for what you've done for us 5,500 times. One quick story before I shut up and get back to my seat. Um, I was covering a five guys on death row. That was the last story I did before I started the column. And I came back and I said to the uh, editor, I said, I'm done. 
I'm tired of writing about the negative people out there, the people that are doing all the stuff, the bad stuff. I want to start writing about the winners. And he said, quote, nobody wants to read about that. And I said, you're wrong. Give me a shot. 16 years later, here we are. You are the winners.